Hey people, this is Mike Jr. the second, this is Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Now, uh, you guys might actually see something very different in the quality than you usually do. Like, there, there, there's just gotta be something on your guys' mind, what is it? Well, let's just say that, uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys the time period I'm in right now. I just got done releasing the, uh, like yesterday, the, uh, battle against the Hardy girl, the Lorena or something like that. Or Love Arena or something like that. Um, and before then, the episode right before, I wasn't able to record. Not record. Ah. Uh, I wasn't able to upload because YouTube was having some problems, which it wasn't just me, too. It was tons of people. And they weren't able to upload longer than 15 minutes, even though they were okay. However, since I got it, in the meantime, while I was off, I was trying to look up new ways to make my, my videos look better. One of them is that I kept looking through and a lot of people really do uh, use the S video instead of the composite video. I just, I never gave S video a chance I decided to finally give it a look and the game looks so much sharper now. To an extent that might suck considering the fact that the composite, it was blurry. However, because it blurred the pixels a little bit, it might in a sense make it look better because it kind of blends into the environment a little bit better. Then again, it could just because the screen I'm looking at right now, the, the screen going into my TV is still uh, composite, but the one going into my Dazzle that you guys are seeing right now is my S video, which I can see on my computer. Anyway, uh, it could just be that, it could just be me. However, it still, I do think the quality looks way better, and you know the little fuzzy lines we get when we do stuff now and again? Like, we'll look at this screen and like maybe some of the words might look a little fuzzy. Yeah, that is fixed with S video, which I love. That pissed me off in all my videos, and I'm happy. So if the quality does look a little bit weird, like, I'm still getting used to using S video, but yes. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys my Purify Machine, because I did catch two uh, Hop Ips. Yeah, they're Hop Ips, right? Uh, I, I thought we were able to see the yeah, Hop Ip. Okay, they are Hop Ips, sorry. Wanted to make sure I didn't get screwed them up, screw them up with another name. Like Sunflora and etc. It's not Sunflora. Fuck it, I don't care. Anyway, and yes, they can actually go into each other. Meaning that, uh, as you can see, that you can just constantly catch Hoppets, which are common in the Oasis spot. And, um, you can constantly catch them and use them to purify machine if for some reason you don't have enough Shadow Pokemon. So yeah, uh, good to know. Another thing to talk about, I recorded this video last week and, uh... Well, let's just say that for some reason the audio bugged out on me and I don't know why. Like, I really don't understand why the audio bugged out on me so much, so I just decided to scrap it and generally redo it now. I probably might stop the video at about 30, 40 minutes maybe, just to make sure if it is still there, I'm still gonna upload the video and only have a slight bit of desync. So yes. Anyway, also you might notice that my Pokemon are kind of high in level, and I should hear heal uh, Jolteon right now actually. Stupid me, go to the Pokemon Center, don't even heal. Um, I did catch that, as, as you saw in the Purify Machine, I did catch the Nose Pass on screen in the Welcome Tower, and the Welcome Tower had Pokemon at level 40. Even Mare B had level 40 Pokemon. <laughs> it was painful, it really was. And I got a shit TM for it, too. I, mean, I got a decent amount of money from what I remember, but I got a shit TM. If I'm right, it's Snatch. Yes, he looks Snatch. Who the fuck wants Snatch? And I think I got Psychic somewhere else, or that might have been the last video, I'm not sure. And nobody else can use it, right? Yeah, nobody but Elegant. So, yeah. I haven't played this game, like I said, in a week, so if I don't know anything, I do apologize. Um, Yeah, a lot of Pokemon can learn the uh, Shadow Ball. Out of all of them, I'm considering Fang, just for the simple fact that Psychic Pokemon are strong against Poison types, and that might help cover its weakness a bit. Especially since Fang is, like I said, it's one of the fastest Pokemon out there. In turn, it, it is the fa if I'm right, it is the fastest Poison type Pokemon. So it's a fa it's if it's the fastest, it can cover its weakness really fell really well and very fast. Anyway, now we're gonna go to the Cipher Key Lair and uh, well, continue where we left off last time. Also, I did some of the CDs and bingo things. I did one bingo thing and a bunch of CDs over at the one place. Just got a bunch of shit stuff. Hyper potions, full heals, a super potion. Yeah, it was, it was bullshit. I'm gonna be annoyed having to do these puzzles again, but what are you gonna do? And are my Pokemon in the right order? 
No, I want Fang up front. I want Fang to, and I forgot to do that. Uh, I was gonna check to see how much his happiness is, cause I do, get, I did give him the Soothe Bell as I've said, which means he should evolve in the Crowbat a lot faster, which would be nice. Actually, what are your stats right now? Out of sheer curiosity. Yeah, he has a lot stronger attack than he does special attack, which is, eh. I mean, most of his moves are special attack, but yeah. It's not too, too bad. I mean, it's not like Kangas gone bad. That and... Did I want... Sorry, I'm just being very picky right now. Um, I think I will stick Elegant up for a bit, just because. They're actually a pretty good team. Alright then, so here's the poke of the lab, and I'm gonna turn up the music a bit for me. Nothing special, really. No, you're hurting Pokemon! How could you be happy about that? So you guys were using the Pokemon from Libra, you assholes! Ooh, three Hyper Potions, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah! Alright then, anything over here? Nope. That looks like some weird goo in there or something. I wonder if that's how they make the Shadow Pokemon. I'm actually, I, if I'm right, they never really explain it, but I've always wondered, how the hell do you make Shadow Pokemon? I just never understood that at all. Just some kid. Keep in mind, I've already defeated three of your fucking admins. Just wanted to point that out there. I, I understand that being a kid is kind of surprising, but, uh... You know, if a kid can kick your ass, especially since the majority of the main people who beat the Elite Four in all other areas, which by the way, XD is very far on the list in terms of time period, meaning uh, Red has passed, um, like it's passed all the generations, I'm not sure about the fifth gen. So yeah. But yeah, as I've said, you know. Most of the trainers are like 10 years fucking old. The only main protagonist that I can remember that isn't a, uh, who wasn't, you know, like 10 years old or 12 years old from game standards was Leo. And yet, he, and it's like him and both Michael really don't defeat an Elite Four type of thing. And so I could kick your ass. See, Elegant just kicks ass. And, Fang, and Fang's not too bad either. It's like in the beginning of the game, you know, they had their troubles, but, you know, they're kind of, it's kind of like the whole Magic Carp thing. Once you get them up, man, boom, they, they fucking nail it. Wing attack. No, it doesn't make sense. He's swinging his tongue around. Why is that a flying move? And second, I swear to God, I love Elegance. Move. It's like a laugh and a point at the same time. Ho <laughs> ho! Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill your ass. Uh, I miss playing this game. Level 34! Dun dun! As I've already said, most of the people who have defeated the Elite Four in the Pokemon world were like 10 years old. Come on. Get your head out of your ass. Anyway, there's more areas to explore, like right here. Nasty. I can I can see rude, but nasty? Eh, whatever. And this girl for some reason has the opposite of the one person the other person we just fought. Instead of a mind, I'm a plus one, instead of a beautiful eye, a um dust ox. By the way, when re-watching one of my videos, I made a mistake. I said that, uh, Wurmple evolves depending on what day of time it is. It doesn't. It is, as soon as you catch the Pokemon, it is already dependent on whether it will become a Cascoon or a Silcoon. Glad I point that out. Nope. Wrong button. Anyway, um... Out of there! Bye bye! And it's attitude. We already got a Natsu, so this one can't be a Shadow type Pokemon. Which 
But it's very odd. You think these guys would like pimp out their arsenals with shadow type Pokemon, but nope, nope. I mean, the only thing I can think of is that because they never really had a long line of being able to, like, mush a factory of making Pokemon, they can only give them to a certain amount of people. Alright then, uh, wing attack on your ass and shockwave on your ass. This is so easy. Then again, I knew what I knew what Pokemon a lot of these guys are having, so. Though these are the only two I remember. Aw, oh, so close. Oh, wow, that was. Eh, 23 damage, I guess. That's not too bad. And bite. You're dead. It's like one of those punching bags that flop back at you. Dun dun. What is with you guys in punishing? Seriously, what the fuck's wrong with you? They into some weird SMN shit. Who knows what I'm talking about? Anyway, revives! Yay! I like revives. They revived my soul. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, kill me. To be quite honest, we actually could have gotten through this into here without having to face any of the trainers yet. Clampo and Octillery. And... Not sure about the Octillery, but Clamp Pearl is a nah, Pokemon from the third gen. Nothing special. Anyway, uh, I think I'll use Wing Attack on it, and get rid of that Octillery, because I'm pretty sure that Octillery will cause more damage than the Clamp. Well, I do have to admit, it's it's not like... Well, I do have to admit, a lot of the Pokemon from the 3rd gen really aren't too... Aw, oh, come on, you should have gave that to me. Aren't really incredibly, and wow, that's gonna hit... Oh, you're a moron. Hmm, poison? Use the psychic type move on the poison type or the psychic type? I think I'm using it on the psychic type, guys. Anyway, like I was going to say, was that, um. God, I can't think of. What I was going to say was that, uh, with the, uh, generation of, uh, uh, third gen, I didn't think. I, I don't really think they had a lot of creative Pokemon in some cases. But I find Clam Pearl to be a little bit different, like some of them, just for the simple fact that, really, I totally forget that they already had a Clam, uh, a Pokemon based off a of Shell, you know, Shelter, and, and, uh, Cloyster. Which, notably, it evolves into very odd Pokemon, which is kind of like Octillery, Octillery, like, from a fish into an octopus, it's like a Clam into a fucking, two, two different kinds of snakes. It's just, I don't know, it's weird. Get rid of that lantern. And on safe side, just in case he can't die, I shall confuse its ass. Come on, kill him, kill him. Oh, well, that's why I confused you. Yes, thank you, confusion. It's just, it's like XD, one of the few games that. Ooh, Rock Tomb. Who are you gonna hit? hit the Pokemon that's not weak to it. I mean, I understand. Slowing down again is a very decent ideal, but come on. And I remembered Flying-type Pokemon are, 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 are weak. No, no, no. Uh, Electro-type Pokemon have a resistance to Flying-types, which is, as I, I will still say, is fucking stupid. Anyway, Psychic on your ass. Oh, come on! What kind of special defense do you have? Wow, he almost kicked that really can't ass. Ah, uh, special defense ball. Hit yourself, hit yourself. Fuck yeah! Go XD! Or what's it? Uh, what, uh, or what fire emblem? Ooh, see that's the smart move. 
I'm trying to think of the Fire Emblem fans. R RNG? Random number? Yeah. The RNG goddess. Um, anyone who is a fan of, uh, or at least knows anything about the fandom with uh, Fire Emblem, uh, the random number generator goddess is a joke about, kind of, kind of a joke, but, you know, trying to say that, uh, random number generators are based off gods in a sense, it's a joke. And, like, if you fuck up, like, let's say, you know, I have one more hit to kill this guy. And, like, I, I have, like, half my HP, and then he hits me first, and he gets a critical hit. That would be, like, the RNG goddess going against me. Ooh, air cutter. I remember getting this last time. I am getting... I remember what I did. I got rid of leech life. Just for the simple... F the thing is, though, is that at, at times, I'm gonna want to catch the uh, shadow Pokemon... It's only, it's only five less damage, too, than, uh, but it hits both Pokemon. The fact, though, is that I might get to a point that I want to only attack one Pokemon with a Flying-type move. And with Air Cutter, it could fuck everything up. So I decided to just get rid of, uh, Leech Life, which not like Leech Life was a great move at this point in the game. Alright, then, anyway, there's a TM down here. Which I was confused about which TM this one gave us. And it gives us... Thunderbolt! They're giving us all of the main moves. Like, I realized, like, Flamethrower, Ice Beam, now Thunderbolt. I thought I was going to have to go through Mountain Battle, but I guess I really won't have to. Though, I might in some cases, considering the fact that Elegant can learn it. So, and I might actually replace Shockwave uh, with uh, Thunderbolt in the future. So I guess Elegant is a lot like Alakazam, it can learn a lot of the, uh, 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 different kind of elemental moves. Or should I say special moves? Notably... Did the train- did the, 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 the Pokemon in the cargo actually have, like, trainers at all? Out of curiosity, because if they did, doesn't that mean we're, like, taking them? Like, 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 you know, we're, I mean, most of the Pokemon we're catching now are probably Pokemon from that. Aren't we te technically taking people's Pokemon? Shouldn't we be giving them back to them? You know, I, I, I don't know, maybe... That, that's just my opinion, thinking about it now. Uh, I'm trying to remember which door actually has the important stuff and which one is just doesn't matter. Well, I don't think I can do much here, can I? Oh, I didn't go, I didn't go to the left side right time. Huh. Anyway, that's a full restore. Uh, res re heals uh, all of your HP and status annulments if you have them. I'm trying to think, what else? Um, what else is there that I'm thinking of? Uh, yeah, that's it. Nothing else. I, I thought there was like something else in the back of my mind that I wasn't telling myself. Ooh, an elixir! Uh, ethers heal one move, elixirs heal all moves, and depending on the amount, what they say for the elixir, it could be very different and dependent. I don't think I can get through- nope, I can't. It'll block my way. You know, Michael, have you ever thought about, don't know, jumping on top of it and getting through that way? Just a thought. And we're coming on to about 20 minutes, so about 20 more minutes I'm going to stop the video and just in case any weird desyncing problems happen. God, this game is defined. I can see I can see the pattern on the floor now, which I probably wouldn't be able to with last time. For composite, anyway. Yeah, but I kicked their ass. It went easy on me because I was a kid. Fucking asses. Just saying, bro. Just saying. Murkrow and a, um. It's a Viper. Uh, Elegant has to worry about the Murkrow, but okay about the Swiper. Though Murkrow really isn't that powerful, to be quite honest. Um. I'm trying to think. Uh. Something about Murkrow. Oh yeah, it has an evolve form for the fourth gen. And I, I knew, I knew one Let's Player that was playing a game. I didn't watch it because I was pissed off at him. Uh, you already know about him. Uh, 
I'm not gonna keep saying his name a thousand times just to make sure if anyone does like his videos, I don't get hate mail. Um, anyway, um, he used one, so I don't know, maybe it's a good idea. Ooh, Paris, probably one of the two weakest Pokemon ever. And guess what? We get to catch him. How fucking stupid is that? I mean, really, who would want to catch a Paris? Honestly, t tell me, raise your hand if you want to catch a Paris, please. Like, I, I saw, uh, if you want to look up something pretty cool, uh, look up, uh, Mage Knight 404. I've talked about this guy a thousand times. Um, he did a video, one of his last in his Pokemon st uh, uh, Stadium LP, and in the last one, he actually defeated a Mute the Mewtwo with a, um, Parasect. Not even fucking kidding. But yeah, he, he defeated a Mewtwo with a Parasect. Not a Parasect. Yeah, a Parasect. Not a Parasect. Good, killed you. But it's like, I mean, like, yeah, in that case, bec but because it was used intelligently, you know, you can use, you know, a Parasect, but in general, especially with around the third gen hit, Paris just, it, it sucks completely. And another one? Huh. This is a Growlithe. The Fire Stone evolves into a, uh... Kind of like, uh... Arcanine. Funny enough, there was a dubbing error in the, um... There was a dubbing error in... There was a dubbing error in the uh, first gen of the Pokemon uh, series, the anime, and um, there is a scene where uh, two uh, Officer Jennies noticed a, a, a Team Rocket balloon, and she screamed, and she screamed, "Arcanine, use flamethrower!" and it, and she said it, but it was a Growlithe. Oof, oof, oof. See, see, that's why I use bite. Oh my god, that, that's good as shit. I don't know if it was one of the Pokemon later. But one of these Pokemon were giving me hell of trouble in the last uh, recording that I had to scrap. It was really fucking annoying, too. He's Ray on your ass. No, I think it's one later. But one of them was giving me so much fucking trouble, I could not catch it. I did everything possible, and it just would not catch. Hopefully that stops the Paris, since I really can't hit it. Haha, ha, hit yourself. Oh, fuck, that hurt! Come on, dude, that wasn't nice. Come on, not cool, not cool. Uh, rainbow. Bolts. You know what? I use bite on you. All right then, go Shadow Ball. <laughs> There's Snack Ball. Stupid me, guys. Don't listen to my stupid. Growlithe cut. Now don't kill it, Fang. No more critical hits. Thank you. Now hit yourself again so you can get it put in the yellow. Thank you, my god, the RNG goddess must be on my side. See, look at the top left corner. I, n I totally forgot about that, but because now we've actually, in the last game, there was no situation where more than one shadow Pokemon were on the team. But now, apparently, when you catch it, it actually tells you that you actually snagged a Pokemon, which is interesting, and hey, works for me, I don't care. But uh, apparently, yeah, RNG goddess is on my side. Actually, using this ball. This ball is used for works on weaker Pokemon. Might be better for the Oasis spot with level 12 Pokemon, but hey, it might work here too. Uh, I was actually thinking about making a joke about the RNG goddess and Leo, but I couldn't think of anything. Besides, I wonder if they's doing it. Wow, a Paris considered weak? <gasps> no! See, I mean, like, Paris like, best Pokemon game, guys. Come on, come on. Yes, because more Shadow Pokemon would help you. Idiot. Uh, I don't... Do I run into a Pokemon thing upstairs? I think I do. 
Yes, I do. I was about to go backwards and heal and then come back here and be like, fucking A! 